Hello friends and welcome back to another video. If you are one of my old subscribers then you must remember this butterfly kattu. This was the citrus butterfly which I had as my pet and I had actually cared for this butterfly and there was another one named kattu and both of these butterflies were cared by me until they flew off in my garden after coming out from the chrysalis. So today as we know history repeats itself i have come back with another video of another butterfly but the circumstances are same i had gone out in my garden to bring a curry leaf and in that curry leaf i saw this tiny caterpillar eating the leaves around the corners and again i knew i had to care for it until it became a butterfly so in this video i'll show you how i cared for this caterpillar until it turned into a butterfly so this caterpillar had come to my life just by chance and I had given it curry leaves and it soon ate up and turned into this fat kind of caterpillar which I really like. These look so cute. The lower brown part is actually the head and the upper two eye kind of things. Those black dots are actually false eyes. They are used to frighten off any predators which might come to eat it up. So this is the caterpillar. It's almost as big as half of my pointer finger. As you can see over here and now I'm going to show you how it turned so fat because I had been feeding it so many curry leaves and I had an arrangement of the curry leaf for this caterpillar my tree did not have too many curry leaves so whatever curry leaves were there I had fed it to this caterpillar so for this instead of keeping a branch of the curry leaf tree I had to just pluck the individual leaves and in this manner I had made a container filled it up with water and I had put in the leaves all these leaves were eaten in one night so every morning I would pluck some fresh curry leaves and I would put it in the container after changing the water and then I would keep the caterpillar along with the curry leaf in which it was so that it would get some more fresh curry leaves to chomp on so I would do this in the morning and also in the evening and sometimes I would do it just once in a day if it had not eaten too much and this whole thing I would keep inside a plastic container having a lining of tissue paper and I also put a stick inside this so that if the caterpillar wanted to turn into the pupa stage or the chrysalis stage then it would have a strong stick to hang on to because the leaves were really flimsy and it wouldn't take the weight of the caterpillar and then I would cover it up with a piece of polythene and put on a rubber band and this is how the caterpillar would stay and my daily work included removing the tissue and changing it and then giving it fresh leaves and soon enough it turned into the pupa stage and I really think this is so cute but it didn't use the stick it simply lay down on the tissue paper and after a few days it turned into the chrysalis stage over here in this stage there is a kind of hard kind of covering all around the pupa and the butterfly starts forming inside the caterpillar it gets changed into the butterfly during this time initially the chrysalis is green in color as you can see over here but with time as the butterfly forms you will see that it will start becoming darker in color and you can in fact see the wings through the skin of the chrysalis where the butterfly is and where the wings are so after a couple of days you can see the black area over there that is having the wings of the butterfly and this was the condition just the day before it hatched and then on the night the butterfly came out as you can see over here so I took out the container in the garden and this was a very beautiful common mormon butterfly which had a beautiful pattern on the lower wings so I took it out and I was hoping it would fly off into the garden or jump off into the flower but it didn't so the best thing next to do is just put your finger down so that the butterfly can climb on it and then you can easily take it to the place where you want to place it without breaking its wings when I took the butterfly in my hands I knew that it was not ready to fly off because even though the wings had unfurled its abdomen was pretty much heavy it was filled with the meconium and hemolymph you can see over here it was dropping off some lymph and meconium so all I did was I kept it on the flower for some time so that it would empty off its stomach 
So let me tell you a little bit about this process. When a butterfly emerges from the chrysalis, it hangs down with its head upwards and pumps hemolymph or which is also called as the insect blood into its wings to stretch, strengthen and harden them. While the butterfly is stretching and hardening its wings, it expels some drops of red meconium from its abdomen. So meconium is the leftover part of the caterpillar that was not needed to make the butterfly. This is stored in the intestines of the butterfly and expelled later on. They also need to do some other things like assemble their proboscis and the swollen abdomen in newly emerged butterflies is partly due to the accumulated meconium and partly due to the hemolymph. Once these fluids are drained from the abdomen, the abdomen contracts and dries off and the butterfly becomes ready for its flight. The remaining thing which was left behind was this cover of the chrysalis. So this spreading of the hemolymph into the wings is really important because if the hemolymph does not go into the wings as soon as the butterfly emerges from the chrysalis, then the wings will become crumpled up and it won't expand. The wings have to be spread out really quickly so that it does not harden up before it is fully expanded. So it is really important that you have a stick or something in which the butterfly can hang on so that it stays in this vertical kind of position so that the hemolymph goes to the wings and uncurls the wings as soon as it comes out from the chrysalis. And after some time this butterfly flew off and that's the end of this story. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.